الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبك الله الله سبحانه وتعالى سيز في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم O oh you who believe يا أيها الذين آمنوا واتقوا الله He says O oh you who believe fear Allah and say a truthful statement speak the truth yuslih lakum a'malakum what's the result of that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rectify your your deeds we need our deeds to be rectified yuslih lakum a'malakum wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum and he will forgive you of your sins and whoever obeys Allah and obeys his messenger has achieved a sure success the sure success the full exempt the the, the alim success the complete success the perfect success <clears throat> if you're concerned about your akhirah and you want to gain paradise then you will follow that ayah. And in this ayah, ayatul karima, we see that Allah is addressing the mu'mineen, the believers. Ya'yuladina <clears throat> amanu, he's addressing the believers. And he's telling us and commanding us to speak truthful speech. You know, to be truthful, don't be a liar. Also a part of truthful speech and correct speech is the kalima to tawheed on your tongue. That you speak truthful with tawheed and you acknowledge that all of this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of this is from His favor and His bounties and His majesty. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what will He do in return? Yuslih lukum a'malakum. He will make your deeds uh, correct and straight. He will rectify them. And we need our deeds to be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need rectification in our deeds because our deeds are so messed up and full of shirk and, sh and, 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 and a lack of ikhlas, a lack of sincerity and distortion and sometimes bid'ah and mistakes and, and mix with falsehood. He will fix our yuslih lukum a'malakum He'll fix your deeds, rectify them. And he will forgive you your sins. <clears throat> so, and all of us need our, our sins forgiven because we all commit sins. Like the Prophet said, All the children of Adam, they commit sins or mistakes. And the best of those are those who repent. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that he forgives all sins. And Allah Ta'ala says, In the law, Allah Yaghfiru and Yushrika bi, wa Yaghfiru ma duna thalika lima yisha. He says, Verily, Allah does not forgive that you commit shirk. But he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. Uh, so here we see that Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala does not forgive if you die upon shirk and kufr. But he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. So it means that yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives your sins. And it also makes affirms for us that yes, we commit sins. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to bless us to have a correct qawl and to 
rectify our affairs and our deeds and forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.